Uh, thank you, Madam Chairman. Uh, I want to thank uh, all the witnesses for being here, um, for what you do is so important to the country. And uh, how we treat our veterans is incredibly important. I wanted to, to uh, ask you, Mr. Secretary, uh, New Hampshire is a, a state that does not have a full service veterans hospital. And in fact, um, as you know, Alaska and Hawaii also don't, but they at least have um, an active duty hospital there that New Hampshire doesn't have as well. Um, so we have nearly 10% of our population where a, a state that serves has served in the, in the military. And uh, many of our veterans are traveling long distances to get the care uh, that they deserve and across state lines. Um, and it's very difficult for many of them. So I wanted to ask you, uh, does the VA have a plan to ensure uh, that all states have access to a full service veterans hospital or in, um, not in the absence of a hospital, you have, for example, entered uh, instances where you've entered into a contract, for example, with the Concord Hospital. And so um, while our veterans are waiting, we would like a full service hospital, uh, but even access to health care that's already available um, to, for example, local hospitals would be very important to our veterans. Could you help me with that? Uh, Senator, I'm going to call on Dr. Petzl here in a second, but yeah, let me just uh, say up front, uh, for four years now, my commitment has been that uh, veterans ought not to have to wait uh, for access to health care. And, and so for Iraq and Afghanistan veterans, this discussion about five years of care under VA is important. It also increases uh, our responsibilities. And uh, it's not just access, but it's access to quality health care. Right. And, and, uh, and it shouldn't matter whether it's a veteran living in a rural area or a veteran in an urban environment. And, uh, and so we uh, have to create uh, the opportunities to meet those requirements, whether it's a full service hospital or some combination of working with uh, quality hospitals that are currently available to us, uh, we uh, arrange our uh, relationships to provide what veterans deserve. And so with that, Dr. Uh, Mr. Secretary, I, I certainly want to hear um, from, do from the doctor. I just wanted to follow up, though. Would you agree with me that New Hampshire is uh, certainly um, in a unique position vis other states not having that full service access for our veterans? Um, I, I would, uh, Senator, but I would also say that in terms of the access uh, criteria that I described, one of the things, for example, we do is uh, provide fee basis for those veterans to quality uh, uh, medical uh, facilities that are already there. And uh, uh, this is our fee basis arrangement. Uh, I think we spend maybe $5 billion to provide that kind of access, and we are increasing it in the 14 budget. Well, I appreciate that, and I'll have a couple of specific follow-ups on certain areas of our state with regard to more access. Uh, thank you. I wanted to allow the doctor to answer. Uh, thank you, Senator. The, uh, the Secretary described, I think, the situation quite well. Specifically in, uh, in New Hampshire, we have a, uh, a very extensive outpatient operation at Manchester and a number of community-based outpatient clinics around the, uh, around the state, as well as the access to, uh, to telehealth. In Manchester particularly, there is uh, specialty services as an outpatient available, and uh, probably more than 90 percent of the health care needs of people are met in those kinds of services. We have what I would deem to be an excellent contract with Concord for the immediate hospitalization in, uh, in, uh, right in that metropolitan area of, uh, of, uh, of Manchester. And then for quaternary and tertiary care, people are referred, as they had been previously, even with inpatient beds, uh, to the Boston VA Medical Center and also to the White River Junction VA Medical Center. I think one of the most important indicators of the fact that this is working well is, is the satisfaction of the veteran that use health care in that area with the Concord contract. They are very satisfied. They have good access to really excellent inpatient care through that, uh, through that contract and through fee basis. So, Doctor, that contract uh, with Concord um, is only 
providing that type of access to a limited number of veterans in our state. And so many of them um, that have to, for example, live in the north country of our state, uh, they're in a position where, ha and I'd love to have you all come up to the northern part of our state and see the geography up there and see uh, the mountainous terrain and where they're having to drive to get to Brattleboro. Um, and many of them just to get uh, to from the north part of the state to Manchester or, or 150 miles. And, um, and the same thing with trying to go over to Massachusetts. Many of them are having very, very difficulty with it. So I wanted to ask you in particular, because the Concord contract, I agree, is a very positive thing. And it is my hope that you will expand that to other areas of the state that uh, have many geographic challenges, including, uh, for example, Berlin. I was up at the Androscoggin Hospital recently, and they're very interested uh, for the northern part of our state of having a similar contract uh, that you've already have in place with Concord. And I hope that that's something that you would consider, particularly in the northern part of New Hampshire. Yes, we would. I appreciate it. And as a follow-up to that, um, our delegation on a bipartisan basis, uh, we appreciate, Mr. Secretary, that uh, we've asked you in the Colebrook, which is even for, farther north than Berlin that I just told you in New Hampshire, um, that you had written our delegation in July of 2012 um, saying that you were considering putting um, a telehealth uh, technology partnership um, in that area. So I wanted to follow up on where that is. And then, and then we've also requested of you if you would consider putting uh, a part-time uh, part CBOC in that area in conjunction with the telehealth initiative because it is so far north for our folks to go from there over to Brattleboro that they're having a lot of difficulties and our, our veterans in our north country deserve the same kinds of access to other more populated areas of the state. I think you would agree. Um, thank you, Senator. We can explore both of those uh, that you mentioned. The telehealth clinic, as I understand it, is proceeding a pace. I don't know exactly where it sits now, and we can certainly get back to you about that. And um, the partial clinic that you described, we will look into that. I really appreciate that, and this is something that um, my colleague, Senator Shaheen, and I have been working on together, and our entire, entire delegation feels this is very important uh, to our veterans, particularly in the northern part of our state. So thank you.